What's up, guys? It's Brian from Flight Lab. Great dunking requires great preparation in the approach. In this video, we're going to break down the mechanics for the running approach for the two foot dunk. As a general rule, there's four things to keep track of in your approach jump speed, distance, step, and approach angle. As we take a look at my cones that I set up, to give you a guide of how to run this drill in order to optimize your steps in the approach, you'll notice I have five cones representing approximately the outside of where your foot touches down. So as you come towards the basket, you will make a slight arc inward with five or so steps beginning around the three point line or depending on your height, slightly in. As you approach the basket, notice that the distance between each step increases. the last three steps, it is extremely important you pay attention to the cadence. So on my last three steps, I take a one large lunge here with the left foot and then a quick two one on my final two steps. So it looks something like this in real time. One, two, three. Or if you want to count down, maybe three, two, one. Again, lunging out, three, two, one, and a jump. Covering that amount of distance and that cadence is gonna be incredibly important to maximize your jump. On your last two steps, there are a couple points you wanna keep in mind with your footwork. Typically, the second to last step lands or strikes the ground with the heel and rolls to the ball of your foot. The last step, reaches the ground through a contact by a semicircle, so you whip your leg around, and actually the ball of the foot is what strikes the ground. Notice that my hips are internally rotated. It's my toes are pointing together, but why that occurs is actually an internal rotation of the hips. This will help drive and deflect horizontal momentum vertically and really give you a pop on your jump. Notice that during my dunk, I did not reach a top linear speed, but I addressed and attacked the movement as explosively as I can. So make sure you have the right mentality, the right mindset that you're really being explosive and accelerating hard. Make sure you practice each element in the approach, especially the three, two, one steps leading up to the jump. You do this and you will see dramatic improvements into your vertical jump. <laughs> 